I was going to have some grand production of uh, my homeboy coming back, but then this dude want to do something special. So. Here's a second down and three. Jackson takes it himself. Look at him turn it back and forth. Oh! He broke his ankles. Now he's got an entourage. And he's got a touchdown. He is Houdini. What a play. 47-yard touchdown run by the magical quarterback, Lamar Jackson. So, yeah. Since we're talking about him, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Quarterback series, week 11. Let's get it. So, we're going to start off with the Ravens and Lamar. Lamar is just um, putting on a show. An absolute show. He's put on a show these last couple of weeks. Uh, we all thought, oh, my God, is he going to have a letdown this week? Because he, he went from this type of competition. Now he's playing this type of competition. The the Bengals who haven't won a game. And he sh- he showed out. He dominated. His defense actually helped him, bringing in uh, two defensive touchdowns. And... Um, the the Ravens just like they're they're hitting their stride right at the right time. You just hope it doesn't tail off. It doesn't tail off. Lamar made all the reads. He only threw seventeen passes, but he that's what he only he needed to. Uh, and he joined a group, a very well group. Uh, I think it was Aaron Rodgers and a couple other star started quarterbacks, but the only quarterbacks in NFL history to throw for three touchdowns and rush for one. Um, I think I might be getting the stat a little jumbled up, but I'm gonna have it on the screen so y'all can see what I'm talking about. And he just poised, man, poised, boom, boom, running when he got to. And as y'all see, he made that beautiful play. Just looked video game. Lamar on Madden 21 is gonna be ridiculous. Like I can already know how this is gonna go. I'm gonna have my, I'm gonna have my gaming stuff going by the end. It's gonna be ridiculous, man. <laughs> So, and I'm going to exploit it because I'm a, you know, we'll talk about that later. But great game. 15 for 17, two ter- 223, three touchdowns, no picks, and a rushing touchdown. Just overall wonderful. There's no negatives that I can say about that I can say about him. 49-13 was the score. They, they won running away, and it was just phenomenal to watch. It was fun to watch. And it's a great game, man. It's a great, great game if you're not a Bengals fan. Like I said, if you love great quarterback play and great football, it's a great game. Now, the Bucks and the Cards play today. This game, the Bucks keep finding themselves in very exciting games. Um, I think the last couple of weeks, the Bucks have probably been in uh, some of the most exciting games of the week. Uh, this, this week, Jameis Winston shows you why you just wish he would turn the turnovers down. He showed you why you you want him to be. He has the ability. If you look at some of these plays, he has the ability and the arm talent to be a great football player, a great quarterback. But the turnovers, man, and I'm sure they said this brought Brett far too, but the turnovers are what's killing them. Like even in this game, one now one of them was tipped, and I didn't see the first one. But just him even have two turnovers, you wish he could limit those. He don't have these turnovers; they win by more than they won by. It's it's just the turnovers. It's turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. It's always the theme for James Winston. Uh, and they play Kyler Murray. Well, you know what? Let me back you up. Let me get into James's numbers: thirty for forty-eight, three hundred and fifty-eight yards, a touchdown, and two picks. See, now if those two picks were there. You're talking about they might win this game and running away with it. So um, let's get to Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is glad he got Larry Fitz because Larry Fitz is making his life easier. And uh, they might have found their replacement for Larry Fitz when he's ready to retire. Christian Kirk. This dude was a monster. Now, granted, they played the Bucks, whose defense is not the best in the world. But dude, dude played really, really well. He came into the game. With no touchdowns on the season. He left the game with six receptions, 138 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, they played well. Kyler Murray, you can tell he's starting to become more of an NFL quarterback. Um, he had a drop touchdown that dude could have walked in. That wasn't really his fault. So uh, he played well. 
He played well. Um, there, but there's nothing really. He, and I know he could probably get this all the time. If Kyler Murray was taller, some of the mistakes he has, he probably wouldn't have. Um, but he played well. He played well. He, you can see, he's growing as a quarterback. But like I said, it was against the Bucks. The Bucks are not very good, but they're also not very good. So you know, you got to take it for what it's worth. Kyler Murray, twenty-seven for forty-four, still too many passes. Uh, three hundred twenty-four yards, three touchdowns, one pick. So, uh, and if I if I didn't mention it, the Bucks and the Cars played each other. Uh, so it was a good game. Really, ex- a really exciting game. Um, now let's talk about our main man. Uh, Patty, my homeboy. So he's coming back off the knee injury now. He had the injury and he started today. Um, let me tell you off the bat, he got sacked. He got right back up. He wasn't limping or nothing. You can tell that you know his body hasn't had a chance to recover. So he looks fine. He looks fine. So we we'll monitor that as the season goes on. Um, they ended up losing 32-35, but it wasn't his fault. Um, Everybody on that offense is just so fast, man. Like it's like on Madden when you put everybody's skill up to when you put everybody's speed and quickness up to ninety nine. They just they everybody is gone. Everybody runs so fast. I'm watching these highlights. Like they look like Oregon when Chip Kelly was running Oregon and everybody was just speedy receivers. That's how they look. Uh, and. Pat Mahomes back doing Pat Mahomes things. 36 for 50, 440, 446, three touchdowns and no picks. Just a great game. A great game. Um, it wasn't it wasn't Pat's fault that they lost. It, it was more of the defense not getting the stops when they need to. And a bad call. A bad call. Why would you fake a punt? Why would you fake a punt? That doesn't make sense. Like that that doesn't that doesn't make sense at all. Uh Andy Reid, there's no reason for you to do that. Why fake a punt? If you was gonna fake the punt, you might as well have Patty Mahomes out there. Like y'all can't afford to drop in the standings. Y'all can't afford that. The Raiders are already on your on your behinds. Like it just it just didn't make sense to me as the as the reason he's he even did that. Like I wanted to jump I wanted to jump in the TV. Like it Oh my God! I didn't understand it at all, at all. Other than that, Patty Mahomes had a wonderful game, so it wasn't his fault that they lost. Uh, let's go to Cowboys. Now, I'm be honest with y'all, this game didn't really hold my attention. It didn't really hold my attention like that, but I did watch it. So, um, Kirk Cousins actually showed up in a prime time game. What? So. Uh, Kirk Cousins, they started off, uh, Cowboys got down 14, and Dak showed the Werbethal. Um, he showed the Werbethal to to uh, fight through that. Ended up tying the game, and it goes back and forth for the rest of the game. Um, he didn't have as good a protection as you would think for Cowboys line. Just Dak wasn't able to make the plays down the stretch in order to win. Like, even the last play, obviously... Zeke is covered. Why would you throw that out route? I think that's an out route. Why would you throw that to Zeke when it's obviously covered? I know you have no choice. He must have been a read, but Zeke is covered. You can't make that play. That's the type of thing that when you want to pay somebody for a million, you're like, why would I pay? Why would I pay that? But other than that, Dak had a really, Dak had a really good game. Um, had a really he had a really good game, but just some he didn't make the touchdown plays that were needed in order to win that game. He gets a touchdown instead of a field goal, one of those drives, and we're opening up in a whole new ball game. And if I got to choose between Kirk Cousins and Dak Prescott to lead me to a win, I'm choosing Dak Prescott ten times out of ten because he's shown me he can win those games. He didn't win tonight. He didn't win tonight. Uh, his defense was a little shoddy. They, they let I think that's uh, Cook. They let him run all up and down the field on him. And Dak can't do nothing about that. So, um, so they had their chances to win. They had their chances to win. Dak couldn't come through towards the end. Uh, Might have been. I don't want to blame the coach for everything for every one of these games, but who knows? It might have been bad play, play calling. Um, because why are you running? Uh, uh, outs 
when it's 10 seconds left? Why are you dumping the there we go? Why are you dumping the ball five, five, three, four yards when you need to get the ball all the way down the field to score? That's not gonna do nothing for you. Now you're forcing Dak to have to throw 50 yards. And then when you ask him to throw 50 yards, you want to throw an out route to the sideline because you have nothing else to do. Like, that's awful. That's awful schematics, in my opinion. That's awful football schematics. Like, why are you doing that? It just didn't make any sense to me. But um, let's get to the Monday night game. Hey, y'all. A little bit of a different look because I just got home uh, watching, uh, watching this masterful just – all-time great top-tier game I've ever seen. NFC West just heavyweight bout. Like, man, this is probably one of the best games I've seen all in a while, man. In a while. Like, it's probably one of the, it's probably the best regular season game of the year. Earlier, Earlier uh, in this in this episode, I talked about um, how I thought the Bucks in Arizona had the best game of the week. That was before Monday night. Now this game was special. Now it was so special that I I really started watching it at mid third quarter when I got off mid third quarter to the end. I watched mid third quarter to the end, and dude, all hell broke loose. Like from. From Jadavian Clowney getting the big return to the guy from Seattle getting uh, the guy from uh, 49ers getting the big return to Russell Wilson throwing an interception and overtime and receivers uh, missing missing big time kicks. But let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. So we're uh, we're in mid third quarter. Um, Russell Wilson is not playing very well. Russell Wilson is not playing very well, and that's playing like an MVP at all, right? So, um, Seattle gets a big defensive stop. Big defensive stop, a big defensive touchdown. Um, no, big defensive stop was turned into a touchdown. Um, they get another stop. Seattle goes down and scores. And it's 20 10, 20. It is 21 10 at this point. So, the 49ers have been leading 10 0 up, up to then. So, and the reason I'm giving you the full scope of the game is just, just how you can't boil this game down to just what the Russell Wilson did. This game had so many legs and so many factors that uh, my black quarterback series can't contain how big this So you have to review this whole game. So, uh, so you know, Russell Wilson goes in to score. Russell Wilson ended up having a decent decent game. The number it wasn't the numbers that you wanted to, but it was just the resolve that he kept fighting with. The the resolve that he kept fighting with. So we, so uh, they trade field goals and then we're going to overtime. Russell Wilson is driving the ball, playing really well, playing really well. Boom, 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 boom. Throws an interception at the at the ten yard line. Throws an interception at the ten yard line. 49ers go down. Um, 49ers go go down and end up not not executing. Uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Their rookie kicker who had just sent them in overtime missed the kick, which gave Russell Wilson another opportunity, which is what they shouldn't have done. They gave my, our man Russell Wilson another opportunity. He drove the ball, ball down the field, didn't turn it over this time, ended up getting the, uh, the closing field goal to win. Russell Wilson, his numbers do not show how well he played down the stretch. Other than that pick, he played very well down the stretch. Big time runs to even put them in that situation. 24 for 34, mm-hmm. 232 yards, a touchdown, an interception, six reception, six. Did I read that wrong? I'm sorry, y'all. I got the wrong. Um, them not have the right numbers. But uh, he he had quite a bit of rushing. He rushed the ball pretty really efficiently for what I what I saw. Uh, just make he you know he, the way he rushes is different from our man Jackson. Uh, Lamar Jackson runs to to make plays. Russell Wilson runs to create plays for others. So um, Russell Wilson didn't play his best game. Didn't have his best game. But ultimately they came over with the dub. Um, me personally, he, I don't, mm, can you really take him down in the MVP race? Uh, 
even though he still won, but he didn't play as well as Lamar did this week. So I don't know if he did enough to lose that number one spot. I don't know if he did enough to lose the number one spot, but he definitely didn't destroy his effort, destroy his his efforts or his chances. So I have Lamar just a tick above Russell Wilson, just based off the simple fact of what Russell Wilson did after the turnover. So I don't know, man. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a crazy race down the stretch. So um, I that's it for the quarterback series this week. Great way to end it. Um, I see y'all. I see y'all uh, throughout the week for the keys quotes and the extra in the uh, quarterback series extra video. Good night, y'all.